Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another video of the Swiggy clone app. And uh, we have made a good progress in last couple of videos. Now the last part is the order service payment service and how we integrate our front end with the Stripe for the payment integration and how we integrate the payment and delivery services. That's the all the remaining part we have left. Now in this video and couple of coming videos, we are going to talk about the payment and orders. So for payment, we are going to integrate it with the Stripe. I was checking the documentation uh, today, like how we are doing the integration and what, what all things you need. So first of all, I will do the sign in. I will create account so that I can just use the Stripe for the integration. I need to do the sign up that I can do offline and for now let's talk about uh, how we are going to integrate okay so what we are going to do first of all we need to create a stripe account and we need to get the key publishable key these are the two things we need to get and a secret and we need to do two things here because stripe provides its own components that we can integrate with the react so there are two things we are going to work on first is the service part which is api part and another is a react component because this react component will initiate the payment and from the react component you will get you will trigger an api call that api call will give you a particular publishable key like because at the api you will be using the access key and the secret key and from this API, what you will do is uh, we will initiate the payment and that is going to return the Stripe object which contains the, the Stripe payment reference uh, object that you will be receiving <coughs> from the API side. So let's try to understand the flow first what really happens at the React side and at the Next.js side because it's a little complex. So what we are doing, we already have a React app. So I will just go step by step what do we have is okay i do have a react app so i just need to use this library react js with stripe right if we see the get started what we need is these two libraries we need so we need to get started with these two libraries i mean we just need to install after this because we need to load the stripe using sdk method so okay i will just say okay load stripe because this is sdk and we need to need to load the stripe to initialize these maybe there is some method okay now so here there are two things we are going to use a publishable key at the client side and the secret at the server side so we can just use a load stripe method using the publishable key. So here, this is the key which we are exposing at the client side. And then we will add a card component, react card component, which is provided by stripe. So this is the card component, payment card component, you can say. Card component. And when you submit, so there will be a card details which user enters. And then when you click on submit, what will happen is, you will trigger the payment right so when you click click on when you enter the card details and then you are going to make an api call to your backend and why we need an api call to the backend is in backend we will just create a simple rest endpoint because this thing we cannot expose to the front end we are not writing server side rendered application it's a pure client side and there are few references which, which we cannot expose so here let's say api v1 payment which is like post it will create a payment and here in the response you are going to create a payment intents object i mean that is the intents or that is we call it something i just forget so this is how we are loading the stripe using the publishable key and then while doing the payment what we are doing is so here use element 
if I talk about how all these things are happening. So we will make an API call to, uh, we will trigger an API call that will give us this payment intents object. Because here what we are doing is we are, we have initialized the payment and this server side is going to create an uh, SDK object, Stripe object equal to new right, by passing this secret key. Right, this is the publishable key and there is a secret key. So using secret key, you first you can just have a CRUD operation where you can initialize the record with the status draft or uh, something and then you will just return the SDK object that we can create only at the server side. This you will return to, to the front end. So this is how we are making here the security. And then when you click on submit, uh, once the payment intent, payment intent created successfully, we will call the create payment method. So here on the front end SDK, we are going to trigger create payment method. Create payment method, I mean, based on the card element and then there is a confirm payment. This is a callback which you will get at the front end side. That will be like, uh, okay, payment is confirmed, payment is done. So what is the role of uh, the backend here? Nothing much, right? Here we are just creating a simple Nest.js app. We are creating a post endpoint. It's just like a simple service class. We are going, when you trigger this API call, we are going to create a use the Stripe SDK and we will return the payment intents dot create. Okay. This contains the client secret object. This, this contains the client secret object, which you will be returning from the API side because this is not a client side stuff. We are using this secret to create this client secret object client secret object reference that we will be passing to the client, the React client and that client secret object will initiate a payment for us. We will call create payment method and then we will have a confirm payment method and that will give us the status okay the payment is done. So all those things are happening at the client side. What we need is we need a publishable key. If we just see, I mean this uh, example is not showing all those things. This is the confirm payment I can see, but I don't see the use of uh, the secret key here. Let's see. So this is how we got the client secret, right? Client secret obtained from the server. Okay, this is how we are doing it. So this options we are passing to this element object and this client secret we are going to get from the server. So, okay. Instead of hard coding this here, we are getting it from the API call and this is the publishable key, which is starting with a PK. Okay, so there are two things, PK and uh, publishable key, PK and the client secret, which we are going to get from the APIs, which we will obtain from the server by calling the, the method of the Stripe SDK. So here we got the options and this is the element. Now this element has everything, right? Now what you are going to do is in the checkout form, if I see the other methods, this would be handle submit. In the handle submit, we are just okay. So handle submit. And on the form, when you do the handle submit, we will wait for the confirm payment. When the conf once the confirm payment is done, you can redirect it to the particular URL. Okay, the payment successful or something like that. But the integration looks something like this only. It's not that complex. This is a payment element and this is how we are going to pass the Stripe options and then this secret key we are going to get from the server side. Okay, let's let's play with this. First, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to we are going to load these dependencies. We are going to load the Stripe in our React front React side using load Stripe method and then uh, we'll proceed further. So first let's add this uh, library. Stripe React Stripe JS. Uh, I'm just getting this from the documentation. Here we'll go to CD apps. CD React apps, Swiggy app and then PNPM add. React Stripe JS, okay. 
so we need to add the typings also let's see now what we need to do we need to show if we look at our checkout component okay okay this works fine now where are we going to show this look at this react app what is this why it's complaining now we can restart the component okay it's not able to digest it so let's restart this npm run start uh, you'd try we already added this dependency so it should work now instead of this we will sh try to show the stripe card element here right okay this here we can replace this with a stripe card component so this is we are on the checkout page add new card so we have this on our checkout page deliver here okay these are the different uh, options credit card and uh, debit card so here we will try to when the checkout state is one two three these are the different components we are rendering checkout credit this is the component these are the different components we have right add a new card so i think we can use this component for our uh, our stripe interface so what we need to do we will just import the stripe interface here from the checkout let's say the card element all these will come on to this page this is the credit card component and we are going to use the same interface and here how to populate so here we are going to just uh, create a form component let's try to refactor this so this is the component we are showing for the credit card okay so here i want to just use the form we accept these many cards that is fine and after that there is simple form right so form on submit handle submit and here we can just specify instead of input we can just use the card element provided by stripe so this is the form let's make this empty the whole empty and just we have the simple form okay now what we can do is we can just put a simple card element which we have imported here card element and if you can pass some options that is fine otherwise this is a component and inside this there will be a button component if you see the example also what they do really have so there is a simple form inside this on submit there is a payment element and there is just a simple button right this is a simple nice interface uh, they have so we are going to have a simple button i will just uh, create a button component so button i can copy from somewhere auth login sign up we do have different buttons here I will copy one button the button component we are importing from UI and when you do on click so there should be a disabled property so when this will be disabled there is a condition this will be disabled if there is no element is displayed so this element we are getting from here so okay let's use some hooks const elements equal to we will use use elements 
So if this element reference is not created, don't show the button. So this is a simple button disable condition. And when you do on click, you don't need to handle on click here. Font size, this is about pay. Okay, because here we are doing the payment. Okay, let's see how it really looks like. Add a new card. We might not need all these things. Okay, something goes wrong. Use element. Cannot find element context you need to wrap around. So, because you use element is trying to find the reference. Okay. I need to check the documentation. Use element, parent element, how we are doing it. We are trying to create a reference for it. So, elements, use elements. And here we are trying to capture, I think, the, the DOM ID. So, this array is about wrapping the element, this component to a elements reference, right? So, what we need to do here is, if you look into the doc documentation, this is how we have to wrap with the elements. If we go to the top, here this is this is this is missing piece, right? So strike promise, which we can get by loading by calling the load strike method. So let's import all these things in our component. So we can just stick with this method, or we can just do our checkout component. And we can wrap all these things around that. So this is our checkout by credit. So here we need to do a couple of things. I mean the rest all other methods we are not using. So we need to wrap this with the load stripe we need to import first. And then uh, this stripe stripe JS we need to add as a dependency. Again another library. So there are two libraries. We didn't go step by step, otherwise we won't we won't have seen. We won't be seeing these errors. PNPM add nest stripe stripe JS. Okay. This is the library. And here we need to load this uh, definition load stripe and stripe promise we need to pass uh, as a wrapper. So let's go to the component and here we need to wrap this component inside this elements. So this element we are getting from stripe react stripe js. <coughs> okay, let's go down. That's it. So this is the important part. Uh, you need to just pass your Stripe reference and you need to wrap your this checkout credit card component into uh, under the elements. And this Stripe promise you are getting at the top. You can see load Stripe. This is the publishable uh, public key you can say. And this is uh, elements you are getting from the React Stripe JS. Now if uh, we restart the application that uh, complaint should go away. The error which we were seeing earlier. Stripe JS we have already loaded. PNPM add Stripe uh, React Stripe JS. So let's see, are we missing any typings from the documentation? Okay, we are just installing these two dependencies. Maybe there is a typing package uh, or maybe I should be, I would be able to start my application. Let's see. If there is no error, that means we are good. Okay, so no, okay. This is the environment key. Uh, 
what happened is no issues found okay because this should have some value so i just put this as a required property now this is the elements now let's see what is happening now okay p it's not showing the elements So these are the multiple options credit card and debit card and when we click on to this pay we go to this checkout component so now at least uh, we are able to render something and this is our elements these are just some images and this is our card element right so the card element inside the card element we need to show uh, like if we want to accept a credit card then we need to enter, allow user to enter the information about the credit card and debit card okay now we don't see errors but uh, this form is not coming we are using card element you can see in our component but why it is not showing the, the possible reason is because we are not passing the key until unless if you are not passing the key then how can it show us the right set of options here in our component these are different options right and here we are initializing our stripe promise but we are not passing this react app stripe public key so what we need to do is first let's focus on passing this react uh, this stripe promise by loading the stripe by using this publishable uh, api key publishable public key let's get this from the by doing a login and sign up okay now i can see my card details coming up as you can see card number date expiry and cvc right how this is coming because i have configured uh, i logged into my account i got my publishable key i configured a publishable key to my components so this is checkout component load promise try promise we are passing this try promise to our elements right now because my configurations is correct it is able to load this payment interface for me that looks something like this right card number month and cvc and we can just click on to the pay like this is simple as a form submission when you click on to this we would be able to we would be able to do the stripe payment that's all handled by stripe so let's see on that with that we also need to create a payment service and create an endpoint which can return the client secret object from the server so now what do we need is when you enter the form details and when you click, click on to the pay button we should be able to first of all call the apis and get the intent object from the, the server side so for that uh, let's write code here is a handle submit right once you click on handle submit on the fly you will get the the client secret from the server so here we can create a simple service that is going to that is going to create a, that is going to call the apis let's say so we don't need to create a simple redux flow or something like that we can make a simple utility inside component i can just create a utility but i do need to pass a token so how should we do it uh, let me just think either we can create a slice that will populate things inside a redux store that's also not uh, we don't want so we can create a utility and pass the the current token right so inside components inside api i can create a utility So that utility will take care of making a API request to the server and getting the payment reference. So what we are going to do, we are going to write a simple service inside this utility dot TS API utility dot TS or payment dot TS. Let's call it as a payment dot TS here export const. Create payment intent. This is a simple function. 
key which contains two argument data and currency data is of type any here we are going to pass the whole shopping cart object and currency is of type string and here const all the items we have menu items right so what we can do is you, you don't need to pass the whole uh, cart object here we can just loop on to the cart data cart dot map and we can just extract only those things which we want to store at the stripe dashboard because we need to get the summary okay what all you have ordered so here we can get the item which is i dot id title i dot name that we need to see what do we have in the the redux state price i dot price so price we need to calculate based on price and i dot count okay the quantity is there is another parameter we can have that is i dot count so these couple of attributes we are passing and we are fine with these because these are the 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 required arguments we see to make an api call and this data we are going to store on the stripe and here we can just simply return axios dot post our api call we need to import axios axios dot post our url and here we need to pass our payload which is menu items and then the config object which i will pass config because this is going to be a protected api here card uh, so this can be a part of uh, payload cart and currency this is the payload we can destructure both this is a part of uh, any and then we have config object that we are passing here exios.post and this is going to return a simple promise okay and here we have a url that is the api we are going to build api v1 payments api v1 payments simply create right here we can have a banner thumbnail which is i dot thumbnails any other uh, parameter which you want to store so that is i dot description what else we wanted to store uh, for the payments because these are the menu items we just destructure this and we are just building a simple object and we are paste, passing this in the menu items this is a payment service this is not order service payment service is going to store things differently because this is going to be stored inside the stripe so menu items or uh, we can just send this uh, cart object instead of doing all these things inside cart you have a restaurant id and currency let's send the whole cart object that contains a restaurant id and the menu items we need all these things now we will build this uh, api interface so this is our uh, payment service right i will just change the the stuff here it's going to be the payment controller payment dto payment entity and when you are creating a payment uh, I mean we need to see do we need to create an order because the payment will be done against an order right so before even initiating the payment from the front end side we will create a draft order and we will pass the order id also with the, the, the restaurant id and the menu items okay there is a lot of code written here we need to clean up so let's quickly build this payment service which is uh, not much we will just clean up this code payment service and here we just have a simple one method which is create payment right create payment
okay this is going to be let's not uh, store anything for now i'm just going to create a simple payment service which takes the body dto and here we are going to create a simple payment body okay so what payment body contains is simple attributes what what are we passing from the front end uh, that we can just simply pass here because this service is not going to be that big here i will just say create payment body dto or the dto and it is going to have auto arguments products and the currency that's uh, what we are putting inside this currency and body what is this currency and the another argument we have is the products or the cart object we are getting so do we need currency no right because we are getting the whole cart object from the apis so we are passing that whole as a payload so the payload here is same as the cart service if you remember in the cart we has the dto which is passing the same object which is menu items and the restaurant id i can use the same because the same body we are getting inside this i just need to change the name menu item body dto create payment body dto because for the payment service we just need to know what is the product and what is the total price we need to pay and this update payment body dto that's it so here we are passing create payment body dto in the payment controller we just need to have one post i will just keep this remove everything else get this done quickly so here this is going to be the post api v1 payments so this is like add payments and here this is my body create payment body dto let's import this user metadata because we have a session and inside service we have create payments we user and payload i'm passing this is payment service we need to worry about this just remove all these things and this is the payment service we have already written all these things many times so even if i write it and show you that should be fine this is create payment body dto inside service import the dto payment service we are injecting inside our module could replace this with a payment controller this is payment service payment service we are passing a dependency injection service dot create payment body dto and here we are calling create payment this is payment controller api tag payment and this is card controller so it's payment api v1 payment payment service we are going to have lots of other things also on this service not this this api is just going to return the payment intents created from this uh, the stripe uh, client create payment and we are passing this body so before even processing this body we need to calculate okay what is the total amount you need to pay so this is a service what we are doing here is const items items equal to payload dot menu item and here we can just set the get the amount const amount equal to items dot so here we do have items dot map menu item menu item should be an array okay here we are doing uh, one mistake 
because this menu item should be an array menu item body dto this is an array candidate nested is array menu item body dto okay then we are good here i will go to the controller create payment items dot map and here what we need to do is we need to calculate the total amount so i am doing map we can just do simple for each and here let amount equal to zero initially and then we are just total amount and we are just running a for each loop item dot for each total amount equal to total amount plus so we have two things here i dot count and i dot price for each and every item whatever we are passing that will give us the total am amount and then inside the constructor we need to create the stripe interface this dot stripe so i need to install this uh, stripe from stripe so i'm talking about the payment service let's go inside cd apps go to the payment service pnpm add stripe okay and what we need to do inside a constructor is initialize the stripe object this dot stripe here we need to get the api key let's say we have it in the process dot env for now and okay so we need to add the types module stripe this is good stripe does not exist on the payment service private read only so let's create a private inter variable here private stripe okay api version this is the property why is it optional not assignable to type this so we need to change the type it's 2022 11 15 now this is good we got the stripe object and here we got the amount we already have the currency so what we need to return is this dot stripe dot payment intents okay, again the same problem it doesn't put the, the typings here here to see all the typings so here we need to pass the payment intents dot create payment service type dot payment intents dot create and we need to pass two properties here okay what is the amount so we already got the total amount and the currency i mean i'm just supporting for now only inr so i'm hard coding it here so this is how we are calling the the create payment and this is going to return the payment intent reference because here we are passing the api secret key this is going to the domain module now we don't uh, deal with the entities for now because we are not creating anything but we will i'm just trying to orchestrate this payment for now payment controller this is my payment service okay uh, so this is simple payment controller which is going to add payment this is the payload which contains two properties one is a restaurant id and the menu items this is menu items s this is the payload and now we need to just change this same on the front end we are passing restaurant id and the menu items and if you want like this is how we are initiating the payment so what you can do is you can have your payment entity what payment entity will have let's try to see what all things we have okay, there is a typo payment entity this is payment here we have a user id restaurant id status payment okay amount you can say 
menu items correct so amount and status status is like done success failure restaurant id user id this payment entity if you want to store something you can just do it here we can use this payment entity in our domain module because currently we are not dealing with any entity and while returning the payment intents we know that we have initiated a payment we can actually create a record in our service so this payment service create payment this is menu items with this uh, we can actually do we can inject the type rm repository so this is our card service so we can inject our repository and then we can just do simple save operation we already have a current logged in user object payment service this is our service constructor here i'm just injecting the repository this is payment entity payment entity and then this is a payment repo what we need to do we already have all the data we i have a user metadata so before even creating this we can uh, just check does the payment exist for this user id restaurant id how do we check the uniqueness here that's a that's a challenge because there is a user id there is a restaurant id and order id yes we can do something with the orders so i mean uh, to solve this problem what we can do is let's try to draw something before initiating the payment currently we don't have any order right so this is order this is payment so when you click on to that button pay what we can do is create an order once the order is created you will get an order id right so you already have an order id in the system and you are going to make the payment of the same order id on the checkout page so once you have the order id you will pass this to the payments and we will check okay if the payment record already exists for this order id don't create because payment might be already in progress if order id is there just process the payment like create the record so we need to have an order id so either we can create a record in the order service so for now i am not creating any record i'm just injecting this service payment repo we already have all the data we can just create payment repo.save currently i'm just returning this payment intents object and i will be populating this env with my secret key from this uh, sdk I did login. Here is my secret key, right? So I will copy this and I will paste it here. Now let's test our APIs. Uh, here we are not saving it into database. Here I was talking about, uh, I was passing INR. I think that's not supported. I need to change it to USD. And when I'm creating this payment, you can see it is returning with the payment intent successfully right i mean this there should be some client secret this should be using uh because we are returning it from the server side and then it is using uh, it to initiate the payment so let's do the front end now so what it need what we need to figure out is this is a protected api and we are making this api call uh if you look into a front end app we are using this payment.ts here we need to pass this config object config object contains the access token in the authorization header and this is the cart object this cart object contains the i think the menu items let me see what uh, what this object contains then only we should be able to pass it currency uh, for now let's keep it usd so i'm not passing it uh, currency let's say is optional is of type string and we need to define an interface for that create payment intent so from our component 
from the checkout credit card component so here we are passing handle submit from the handle submit first we need to call this service so we just created this simple method which is create payment intent create payment intent this is a method which we need to import dot create payment intent dot then because it's going to return a promise so here create payment intent uh, we need to pass the payload so here we need to pass the cart items so what we can do is we can pass this cart items from the checkout page so inside pages we have a checkout and here i can just pass the cart object the whole cart object we are which we are showing here and there that is i think menu items right menu item okay we are doing menu item dot menu underscore menu items so i think pa passing this menu item should be enough this contains the restaurant id and the menu items array so let's pass this cart is menu items this is accepting one cart object that we can pass here and we can also pass the config so here we need to build uh, the object so if you see this method this is taking cart and the config so cart is here another argument we are passing is a config config contains headers which contains authorization authorization header and here i will be passing because i need to get the access token so i can use i can use a user selector auth selector const auth equal to use selector and i already have auth selector so auth dot current user auth dot current user dot token i think this is how i can get the token from the redux state if i look into my redux tree i'm just checking this again inside auth i got the auth object so auth uh, i can just get the current user directly current user dot token or inside auth also i have a token so i don't need to access anything i can get the token directly i can get the token directly i can just pass this token here by a token this is the config object we are passing create payment intents now what will happen is after this is we need to handle the response so this is the response we are getting we are passing the config object and authorization and here here again this is again going to return another promise so we are going to just wrap it around the promise resolve reject and here we are going to do some fun with the stripe so we already have a stripe use stripe there is a use stripe hook we can use Okay, and then now what we can do inside this is stripe dot create payment method. Stripe dot create payment method, and that takes two argument is the card type. Uh, we need to pass as card, and card is the card element which we have. The so card element how we can get. Uh, there is a method to capture that is handle submit card element elements so that elements we are getting using use elements it is complaining elements is possibly null elements dot get elements card element uh, is the object we are passing 
so we got the element we are assigning the element stripe dot create payment method the stripe is not null okay it is complaining stripe is possibly null i mean we are just using these hooks stripe stripe null fine i will just put uh, this property create payment method inside this we are passing card and card element and this again is a promise what happened to this type string card is not assignable to parametric card payment method from element this is card element i am assigning let me check the documentation how it works okay this is card element small card element which we have created here now it should resolve then this is again a promise because uh, here it is going to ask for the payment methods dot then it is going to give us the payment method This is actually the promise chain you can see and here it is going to give us the data const data equal to what data we are capturing is the client secret client secret we already received from the server which is response dot data here which we have received from the first api call which is response dot data dot client secret and payment method id it's a method id that's a second argument which is coming from payment method dot payment method dot id it's the, the sdk is vast i mean it has all those those things and once you get the data resolve this data so your promise is resolved you may get an error so we will just capture that error here you can reject the promise that is some coming from here and then if i look into this carefully so dot then this promise scene is happening here and then if everything is successful we can just resolve the outer promise which is response and here return this dot for return stripe dot confirm payment method confirm payment confirm card payment confirm card payment and it will we need to pass response dot client secret talking about this response object so if everything is successful we'll get this response object this response will give us the client secret object and the second argument is we are going to pass the payment method which is response dot payment method id okay let's uh, refactor this and try to see if properly what is happening so first of all return new promise this is how it looks like now first of all we got the we created we got the secret from servers we got the response then we are returning a promise if everything is good then we are resolving the response and got the client secret and doing the confirm payment confirm card payment and if this is successful now our payment is done okay we can just uh, log the the response which we received from this api call console.log response and if there is an error you will catch it 
from error we will just log it console dot log error now let's try to see this uh, why this is complaining here here we are passing the type card and card is a card element okay so let's debug this and i found out the bug fix i mean it was small and very naughty i mean this get elements we already see this is you see these are the types and you can see these type uh, here also create payment method create payment method data create payment method card data it accepts type card and this is a not nullable right this was the issue in our case when we were doing get elements it can be null also so here we need to just assert it that it's not null type card and card element that will fix our problem okay so here it is going to give us the payment method we can also console.log payment method because these all are like sdk methods but internally it is going to make an api calls to the stripe api interface then we are getting client secret payment method and then client secret i think this is after checking the api docs client secret response dot data dot client secret coming from the server payment method id payment method dot payment method dot id and we will just resolve this data otherwise we will reject it and then if everything goes smooth okay let's just test this one if we are even getting this api being called okay so react tab here i will just add the card number let's see what is happening because we won't know until unless we don't debug it is not defined when you handle submit okay request fail with 404 bad request api v1 payments not found okay we didn't add a proxy is that the case at the proxy api v1 payments yes that is the problem so let's add a proxy for this api v1 payment Payment is on I think three thousand five. It's on three thousand five. Okay, let's save it and we need to restart our front end. Where is our front end running? And uh, Wiggy app and we run start. Let me go inside the directory and create it. This NX console is lazy today. npm run start. Okay, and I will just hit enter again. So this is the test card detail which you can enter 424242 25 what we are doing is we are making the network call api v1 payments again okay it's payment not payments first of all i'm doing a stupid mistakes so go to your utility API v1 payment so you can see all these calls payment has been processed here you can see I got the client secret then it is making this API call not billing details I'm not sure what all things it is using then confirm 
okay how it is confirmed and status is succeeded payment method type is card this is the client secret this is the amount detail amount is 13100 right this is the final amount and this last payment error everything goes smooth and this is just a sample test payment we have done right so what we need to do once we receive a callback so there will be a callback from the uh, front end here you can see all the console logs telling us all the success payment intent received i can just do this enter again and try to see what is all happening payment intent object console.log this is the final response object right so this is the final response and that tells us okay this is status is succeeded and this is the total payment you have done through this card if there is an error let's say we are passing some wrong card not the test card okay it will identify that this is not a the real card then i cannot enter my own card information okay and it is doing simply we can just submit this is a form submission payment intent is received from the apis so you can see all the network calls first payments intent then the payment methods it is getting all the payment methods type card and finally the confirmation that payment intent is successful the payment made through the card is successful status succeeded and then you can redirect so let's see this is the payment flow we can see the the simple card details you enter card details and you just submit so what will happen when you do the submit it is going to submit these details to the the stripe payment interface and it is checking if it is valid then all these things are happening if you can see our code these are all different steps we are performing card.csx this is all the code available in their docs card element create payment method first of all we are actually passing this is the card and so based on the card items we are calculating okay what is the total price we are passing the authorization header and the card object then we are creating payment method then we are confirming the payment all done and then we are getting the final response object okay so what is next uh, let's say we can just take a simple example check out and here we are entering the card number 4242424 when you click on pay what it is doing is we can just do when the successful completion we can redirect you to thank you but in actual what needs to happen is lots of things will happen in the background this is the place where we get to know okay uh, you have completed the payment your payment is successful and everything is processed like this is the api call which you are triggering first uh, which is talking about okay create payment intents right and here we are passing the cart object here we can actually create a order object or we can also create a simple payment object in the apis that this is the payment being made for this and we can also acknowledge once the payment is successfully done so how we are going to do because this is all the front end uh, interface is telling us okay the payment successfully done after receiving this uh, secret key from the server so here we need to dispatch couple of actions so here create payments here we can just initialize the uh, payment okay payment status is in progress and once here we got, are getting the success so we can dispatch an action okay payment payment is successfully processed once the payment is done you need to place an order i mean there are many ways of doing it let's do it this way once payment is done you can dispatch an action to the kafka or oh, sorry rabbit mq that will uh, just assign this uh, order to the delivery service okay this is the order id customer id and all these things so that is the way forward that is we are going to implement in the next video